we are still talking about agreement. The devil knows that if you are going to marry, there will be a need for agreement. So he begins to create erosion in the soul long before you even think of aligning with somebody. He also he, he creates demonic traffic through soul ties. And there are so many people in the band. But the day you came to the altar to be joined, you came with the damsel. But unknown to you, the traffic is heavy. And that's why ladies and guys that are close to me that have opened up their past to me, I take them through some form of deliverance. Because somebody said, ah, I don't have time for that today. I don't have believers and demons. I don't have time for that today. I need a whole weekend to show you how far a demon can go in the life of a believer if it's allowed and how many years he can stay and when the person dies what happens to the demon <laughs> i don't have time today we'll look at that subsequently hallelujah that's all there there's a traffic i take them through a deliverance first of all i ask them to write down the names of everybody they have slept with it, it, it looks as if pastor wants to know hmm. then you will ask for repentance and call everybody's name so that you can break the traffic it's only when you have done that that eh, some things will leave you and you will do it deliberately because the act was deliberate the deliverance will be what deliberate and all of these things are traffics that the devil puts in place to ensure that agreement is possible. I've seen people before that marry very fine guy, very fine lady, and then there's fight, there's trouble every day. And when you sit them down to ask them, okay, let's trace this thing, it's not logical. But they will never know that it's not logical. And then you see that there are baggages that were not identified, that were not dead to it. And most times people are not open enough to the people that uh, play the role of spiritual oversight over their lives. They are not open enough. And I will not blame people for that. Some attempted opening up to some people and the people were not matured enough to handle. They didn't even know what to do with the information. And I speak to you as an open book. I've had experiences in my own marriage too and I normally try to mentalize my experience I try to understand them if it's possible all right I try to see how frequent those things happen I document it it's it's happening like that. it happened again and I, I will now deduce that so from this time to this time is impossible for me and my wife not to disagree so this length of time we must disagree this length of time this length of time but you you don't study me i study a lot because i'm supposed to come and teach you with my own experience so i do a lot of analysis then i try to find out where is this thing coming from then i i pop up and try to find in my own father's and mother's relationship for 35 years that I saw them married, they never got it once. Once. So I know that this one is not for me. I did not inherit this. This is baggage. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, before I gave my life, before I married, I didn't know a woman. My wife didn't know a man. Okay? But I will open some chambers to you if you are willing. You are not. Ah, kode Monsanto There is a reason why Jesus said that if a man looks at a woman lustfully, he commits immorality with that woman in the heart. There's a reason. There's an opening that comes, and it will be easier for you to yield to lust. You know that in the core pornography, it did not start a day, it did not start in one day. You went there, you you love righteousness, but you did not hate iniquity. 
you will have a soft spot for it and it will take advantage of every crack that you have made available and if you have any other affection other than your wife huh? what you are doing what you are doing is creating a space that the demon will use to exploit your possibility of agreement that's why i will always tell you the fact that you have 32 years doesn't mean you should look for a wife some of you are 32 years but you don't have the capacity to say i am wrong it means you <laughs> you will be a problem to a woman especially those of us that have advanced in learning you have a knowledge that so many people don't have then on the strength of that knowledge you begin to feel that you are special anything that you have acquired maybe by the anointing by learning by position in the office is going to be a disadvantage to your relationship with your wife if you don't know how to remove that or crown put it down and then relate with a human being that has a family. When you notice that you are beginning to like something, maybe you see another lady and you like ah, God, the alignment of this lady. You know what? Just go back to your wife, then your wife that see. I saw one lady, she was so fine. I checked the eye, it was cat eye. You know why? You have to do that. Accountability is the basic key to deliverance. If you are that man that says, yeah, I can handle it, I can't, you have fallen in your heart many times. As you begin to grow higher in the anointing and in the grace of God, every attempt that you make at departure, demons will take advantage of you. And when demons are in the matter, it will be difficult. 